Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, y'all? Welcome to a brand new episode of LSPDFR. Today, we're going to be out here with the Atlanta Police Department. We have used Atlanta in the past, but I just wanted to go ahead and revisit them because I love their textures. And uh, we are just kind of having like a Georgia theme in the uh, LSPDFR folder, so I figured let's go ahead and revisit them since it's been quite a while since we've actually done Atlanta. But I just do love the look of Atlanta's liveries. They just look so freaking clean and phenomenal. So I'm like, let's just go ahead and do Atlanta once again. Car pack is made by Jedediah. Same thing with the uh, liveries. It's part of the pack, so nothing changed there. Uh, we do have a partner today, as you guys can kind of see there in the vehicle. Um, but yeah, we are just going to be rolling with Atlanta today. Um, one thing I do want to mention before we even start in this episode is that I do have like two random ambulance escort callouts in this um, video. Or that will be in this video. It was supposed to be part of like a one call episode, but then I didn't realize that the escorts were going to be so short. So those will be kind of mixed in in the video here. So they're not actually like filmed with this thing. They were filmed previously. But I decided to just go ahead and throw them in here instead of just scrapping them. So I decided to just do something new with Atlanta. But yeah, here's a look at the Taurus for the most part. Nothing really too fancy, just your standard Taurus. Don't mind that FPIU there with the takedowns on. That is only for the lighting so you guys can actually see the Taurus. Since it is super, super dark in this alleyway here. But here's a look at the interior of the Taurus here today. As you see, my partner's right over there. Very nice. Here we go. I got our nice little speedometer, all that fun stuff in here. Jedediah air freshener. Kind of an empty interior except for that laptop. And then here we go with the lighting. Stage 1, you'll just get a TA in the rear. And nothing in the front. Stage 2, you'll start getting red, uh, blues in that light bar. Flashing reverse lights. And then you'll get blues in the light bar up front. Stage 3... It'll be full out um, blues in the rear and then full blues in the front with the grill as well. So yeah, that's going to be our setup for today. 241, you can show us out 1041 tonight. And let's go ahead and get out there and see what Los Santos decides to throw our way tonight. Alright, so I think we got our first call of the day here. Um, I have this vehicle just right over here that's kind of parked weirdly. Um, not quite sure what's going on here. Just kind of pulled up to the intersection and this notice that this vehicle is kind of parked weirdly. 241 dispatch. You can show us out code 5, Meteor Street, Howick Avenue with the suspiciously parked vehicle. Put the gun away, dude. It's going to be a white panto. Get the flashlight out. 241 dispatch. It's going to be a uh, cream colored panto. Uh, right, stand by for a 28. Alright, 241. 28 is going to be 45 William X Ray John 048 uh, San Andreas 28. Send for dispatch. I'm not quite sure what it's actually doing out here. Um, it just looks like somebody just ended up abandoning it for the most part. Um, I don't see anything in there, like no knives or guns or anything like that. Check the back, maybe. I don't see anything that would like determine it as stolen. It's not stolen or anything. It's just kind of illegally parked. Um, I am going to go ahead and issue it a parking citation for being illegally parked. Haven't actually given a ticket in a while. We do have a red light violation. Man, the calls are just coming in today. Good God. It's going to be a busy night for us, I can tell you that much. But yeah, first um, but yeah, first observation of the night is going to be a illegally parked vehicle. Um, it's kind of pulled up on the intersection here, saw it kind of parked opposite way of traffic. It is going to go ahead and get towed as well because it is illegally parked and it is kind of in the roadway. 241 dispatch requesting uh, 51 to my 20. Let's get a small tow truck for it. Not quite sure. It was just kind of randomly placed here. So it is going to go ahead and get towed away. Owner's going to have to come find it at the impound lot. Um, it does. We'll have a parking citation on it as well for being illegally parked. 
Tow truck has taken it away right there. Ooh, it's one of those older tow trucks. I have to replace that in game. I really do. There's still a lot of stuff that I have to do in this game that I haven't like gotten around to doing yet. So I still have to throw some call outs in, try to test out some more plugins, and just throw some like more small stuff in there. But we'll get there. We will definitely get there. Two forty one dispatch. Man, there's so many calls coming out today. It's going to be a busy night, I can tell you that much. We haven't even responded to any of them, so that will end up starting up here soon. But uh, 241 dispatch. You can show us out, code. 241 dispatch. Show us out, code 410 off of that. And let's see what else Los Santos will throw our way tonight. Two forty one. I'll be at seventy six. Got a medical escort going on right here in Alta. We need to escort the ambulance to Pillbox Hill Hospital as fast as we can. So I'm not quite sure. There might be like a gunman in there that shot somebody or something along those lines. I'm not quite sure, but we'll end up going code three to respond to there, and we'll end up probably going code two. Or maybe code 3 to the hospital, depending on the situation. What the fuck, dude? Don't you see there's a cop coming at you? What the hell, man? Let's go ahead and respond that way. Clearing that intersection there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's go ahead and clear this one as well. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so it should be just coming up on... Yep, I do see the ambulance up ahead there. 241 dispatch. I'll be out 23 on scene ambulance here. Gonna be on occupation and all Alt Alta here. First driver of the ambulance. 241, I'll be out code 5, occupation, Elgin Avenue. With the uh, ambulance medic team. There's so much traffic, we need to get to the hospital, blah, blah, blah. I didn't even read what it said. I said there's so much traffic, we need to get to the hospital. Now, I don't know if there's an actual key here. Are you kidding me? Drive code 3, but don't get too far ahead of the ambulance. If stuck, press H to warp it. Really? You need me to escort you that short of a distance? Really? Go ahead. That is just dumb. They want me to escort it that long of a distance. And it's not even cooperating. And it just T-boned it to an SUV. There we go. Go ahead and warp that mother trucker. There we go. Alright, so they want us to go all the way over here. When he could have just done that... Um... Where is he going? Um... What? <laughs> So now he's going to come on that off-ramp here. Like, what in the absolute hell? Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, that was fun, fun driving. Thanks a lot. Yeah, you're welcome, dude. Now, I need to go talk to you, see if you're intoxicated. I need to go make sure he's not intoxicated, because that was just... Ridiculous, and I think he hit somebody. I, I have no words. I honestly have no words. I... I have no words for this escort. 241 dispatch. Code 4 10 <laughs> Um, yeah, okay. I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's hopefully try to do another one, and let's see if that one is more stable than this ambulance driver, because that was just ridiculous. 241, be out 76. We've got a foot pursuit in Pillbox Hill. Gonna go out there, try to help um, that officer out, and see what's going on. 
See why the individual is running on foot. Not sure why this guy's not responding. Not sure why we have to respond unless he's on his way to like a, a call or something like that. But I don't see why we're he was closer to them and he we're responding, not him. But I do not know. Do not know. So they got eyes on him, but he's in a foot pursuit at this point in time. But it doesn't look like they're actually moving. 241 dispatch, be out 23 on scene. I got one male running northbound. 10-4. Oh, he's going on the freeway. 241, subject's going on the freeway. Can we even get up this? 10-4. Yep, so he's going to be going on the on-ramp here. He hit himself on the door. Get on the ground, dude. Get on the ground. 241 taser's been deployed on the subject. Get on the ground, man. Get on the ground, dude. Get on the ground. Oh, you want me to do it? Okay, I guess I'll do it. Two forty one, you got one in custody. All right, well, I'm not sure what he was running for or what the deal is, but um, I just know that he was running. I'm not quite sure the details or anything like that. The officer hadn't told me or anything like that, but I'm just going to go ahead. Fine, you can get in, dude. It's fine. God, it's so needy. Oh, my Lord, dude. Two forty one, I'm not available for calls right now. So let's go ahead and turn those off while we deal with this investigation. Alright, bud. At this point in time you have the right to remain silent. Anything can still be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney if you cannot afford and want to be appointed to. Do you understand your rights? So let me ask you a question here. What's going on? Can you tell me what's going on? What exactly do you mean? Uh meaning why did you running from one of my officers? They just came out and started attacking you. I, I I find that really hard to believe. You ever been in trouble with the police before? You got a warrant for a parking ticket? Okay, so you have so you do have a warrant out for your arresting. Okay, 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 okay. Do you have your identification on you? And if I don't, am I free to go? No, you are not free to go because then I'm have to figure out who you are. Okay. He looks kind of nervous too. Um, so do you have anything legal on you? Do you have anything that's going to poke me or stick me anything legal on you? I can confidently say I plead the fifth. Okay, so uh, anything illegal? Like guns, knives, pocket knives, these needles. You don't want to go to jail? Well, I mean, you're going to jail anyway because you ended up running from one of my officers. So you are going to go to jail today anyway, bud. Go ahead and turn around for me. I'm going to have my partner pat you down, okay? So he's got a can of marijuana mints and a lollipop. Never heard of marijuana mints before, but okay. Hey, so at this point in time, what's the marijuana here for? What's this, like, can of marijuana mints? Do you have a license for the marijuana? All marijuana legal right now? I mean, not yet in this state, no, but it... They're thinking about it, but it's not legal yet, so. Alright, hang tight for me. I'm going to go run your information real quick. Go ahead and hang tight for me. You mind hanging out here with them? Right, I understand that um, it's raining outside, um, but I'm going to have to go ahead and make this nighttime again because I didn't realize it was going to turn to daytime like this. So, but I'm going to go ahead and run his information. George Sparky. So he doesn't have an arrest warrant like he said he did, but he does have citation for obstruction to driver's view, uh, driving while license is suspended, and possession of a fake driver's license. And he has been arrested for obstructing an officer and escaping custody, so he is known to run if he does get caught by the police. 
Um, he has been arrested for it twice already, so. He's going to get charged with fleeing an officer in a foot pursuit and then being um, cited for the marijuana. Alright, Mr. Sparky, hop up for me. Alright, so at this point in time, I'm placing you under arrest for eluding a officer, for fleeing an officer on foot. And then I'm also going to be citing you for the marijuana mints, okay? Alright, so come over here. I'm going to place you in the back of my squad car where it's a lot more safer. So what exactly were you running for? You don't know? Alright, hang tight for me. Alright, I'm going to pull off of the off-ramp here so that we're actually going to be on the street. So it's going to be more safer for all of us, for the most part. Um, I feel like that'd be the most safest thing to do is just pull up over here. Reduce our lighting and then just kind of chill in this parking spot here. While we do our initial reports. So George Sparky is going to be cited for marijuana. Um, Okay, this is different. Um, okay, so it'll be possession of marijuana less than 15 grams. That is what we'll go ahead and cite him for. Um, so yeah, that's going to be his citations. It's going to be possession of marijuana. Uh, he will get a, he will get a notice to appear. Yes. So that's going to be his citation there. And then arrest report is going to be resisting obstruction. So it'll be attempt to flee and elude on foot. So that is what he was doing. Uh, let's go ahead and submit those charges to the DA's office. So he was obstructed an officer. He escaped custody and now he attempted to flee and elude on foot, which he did. So that is that. So we'll go ahead and give him that citation. Left control page down. He's going to be on this side. We're just going to pretend that this is like a random like event that happens once in a while where it's like nighttime, then it turns to daytime, then it turns to nighttime again. We're just going to say that it's like very, very rare. So I'm going to go ahead and give him the citation here, $200. 241, uh, dispatch, can you send us a 5 or 97 or 20? It'll be Elgin Avenue on the on-ramp for Interstate 2. Downtown Los Santos. So it'll be Elgin Avenue, Interstate 2. Uh, he's going to be outside. My partner's going to watch him while I try to finish up some more paperwork and stuff like that. Transport unit parked all the way out there for some unknown reason. I don't understand why he did, but he did. Really where it's bought for a uh, officer to be. I'm going to grab him. Cool, cool, cool. All right. 241 uh, dispatch. Show us out code 4108. And let's go ahead and see what else Los Santos will throw our way today. Attention all units. We have transport assistance to um Pillbox Hill Hospital. C forty one, I'll be out seventy six. Got another one out here in Textile City, which is right behind us here, going to the Pillbox Hill Medical Center. So I'm hoping this one isn't as close as the other ones are, because if it's if it is, we're just gonna head out to a different area for the most part. And then we'll try to escort him there because the first one really did not need an escort for that short of a distance. At least this one's a little bit of a longer distance. So, but yeah, that first one did not need an escort whatsoever. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and clear this intersection as well. There we go. Hopefully that dude doesn't go. Because that would be horrible if he did. Alright, 241. I'll be out 23 on scene with the ambulance driver. San Andreas having a little big horn underneath the bridge. Let's go and see what's going on. Our patient is in critical condition. Can you clear the way to the hospital? 10 4, bud. We'll do. So we're gonna—he's gonna have to follow us 
Hopefully we don't have to make a U-turn. So it looks like we will have to make a U-turn. Oh, it's cool. So he can actually make U-turns. Oh, we, we're off to a bad start in this one. Come on, dude. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Don't flip your ambulance, bro. That would not be a good sign. All right. Coming through, coming through, coming through. You coming with me? Yep, he is. Cool. Come on, bro. Come on. Okay, dude. You just going to hit my... I'm escorting you when you're going to fucking hit me. What the hell, dude? That is so not cool. That is so not freaking cool, man. Like, what on earth are you doing, bud? Lustin was a little bit better, but he's still kind of a crackhead at driving. All right, 241. Can you escort all of our calls? Sure. All right, 241. You can show me out. Uh, 23 at the hospital. I'll be at code 4 tonight. 10-4. Yeah. Uh, wait till he gets to the thing there. Just deduce to our TA. Actually, we won't even have to deduce. We'll, or redu reduce. Um... So the one stays inside, the other one gets the patient out, and no. <laughs> Two forty one. You can show me out seventy six. Got a. Felony stop. Officer reports that her shots fired during a felony stop. He did hit his panic button, so we're going to go ahead and respond to there, see what's going on. Uh, see if the officer is okay. See if we can try to neutralize the suspect here. Try to get him to drop his weapon and all that fun stuff. Um, typically, you don't want to get these types of calls over the radio because they are one of the worst calls you can actually get on the radio. So we're going to go ahead and see if the officer is okay. Not quite sure which way they're facing. But, um, we'll see. 241, you show us 23 on scene. Why aren't your lights on, dude? <laughs> 241, shots are fired, shots are fired, shots are fired. Jesus Christ. Two forty one, uh two subjects are gonna be down right now. You start an EMS to my twenty. Let's go ahead and search each body. I'm gonna go and search both the bodies. We're gonna go ahead and stop traffic over here. Looks like the other officers left. Which they usually do. So he's got a baggie containing brown powder substance in it and a facade smartphone full of child pornography. Okay, so Joe Gray is the female. And then let's see what this guy had on him. There's our EMS right there. So a chocolate bar and a pair of panties. Okay. So Sam Johnson. I'm going to go ahead and run their informations as well. What's going on, man? I do appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Alright, let's go ahead and search the vehicle here. See what's going on in there. I don't know what the deal is, why they started shooting at us, or what's going on. A briefcase full of $100 bills. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move my vehicle a little bit closer to the scene. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of weird. Uh... She's got a phone full of pornography on there, and there's a briefcase full of bills, and she has some drugs on her, so. Actually, I'm going to go run their information as well. So, it looks like uh, she she's going to be alive. So, we'll have an uh, officer come out over there. So, he had an arrest warrant for illegal short trafficking immigrants. He was cited for blocking access to a disabled spot and failure to dim to oncoming traffic. 
and she had an arrest warrant for possession of cocaine. But she was also drug trafficking, possession of Tremadol, destroying, concealing evidence, and possession of methamphetamine. So they both had warrants on them, and she had some illegal stuff on them, as, or she had some illegal stuff on her as well. Um, 241, the female is going to be all right. Can you have an uh, officer transport down to the um, hospital that she's going to be transported to? 10-4. So she's going to so she's gonna have an officer meet her down at the hospital. Um for sure, that's not going to be a good sign. See if he's going to be okay. Um, they had a couple different... Uh, she had a, a lot of illegal stuff on her. The methamphetamine and then the uh, pornography. Uh, pornography, he didn't have anything on him. Except the pair of panties, which were probably hers. And then the vehicle had a $100... A briefcase full of $100 bills in it, so... Looks like both of them are going to be okay. Uh, they're both going to go down to the hospital where an officer will meet them. Just in case, question them, see what's going on. And ultimately, they'll be charged with something. C41, dispatch. You start me a 51 in my 20. I didn't mean to search it again. Uh, tow truck. 240. Let's go ahead and run a plate on it. 241 dispatch 28 is going to be 43 Adam Charlie Nora 360 San Andreas 28 Target license plate 43 Adam Charles Nora 360 a possible We've got in all parts 241 you show me out 76 Looks like we got a notify next of kin and if you don't know what that is it's basically meaning that someone in a family has passed away due to like a car crash or a shooting or something like that, and an officer has to go to the uh, family's house, which is like a mother, father, a spouse, a brother, whatever, and notify the person that one of their relatives have passed away or have been killed um, uh, in like any situation, like I mentioned, a car crash or something like that. But I do apologize for just the random cut after that call out. Uh, for some reason, GTA 5 ended up crashing to the desktop. And it hasn't done that in a long time, so I'm not quite sure what happened. We're going to have to get into this line here. But yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened, but it crashed to the desktop, which is the first time it's done that ever since I've uh, done this folder. So I'm not quite sure what happened there, but I know it's probably something that hopefully won't happen again. But we're just around the corner here, so 241. 241 dispatch. You could show us out 23 on scene. Uh, Hawick Avenue, Power Street. It's going to be stopped here at this red light for the most part. Um, but yeah, it's not something an officer wants to do is tell a family member or relative or whoever that one of their, um, uh, whatchamacallit, one of their um, relatives have died or family members have died or whatever. We're just going to go over here and do this. Looks like we can park right um, over here. It looks like it's going to be... Uh, not quite sure where it actually is. I'm assuming it's going to be at that apartment complex. So we'll go ahead and just park in the alley here. We'll go ahead and just park in the alleyway. Um, I believe it's going to be over here somewhere. So let's go ahead and hop this fence here. Let's try to just go upstairs. Go to the door and press Y to knock, then step back from the door. So it's right here. Oh, it ain't this one. Is it up here? Nope, not this one either. This one? Nope. It's got to be one of these over here, I'm assuming, unless it's on the cross. It's not across the street, is it this one? Nope. Um, this one, maybe. No, it's not over here. Um, interesting.
It shows that it's this complex right here, I'm assuming. Oh, sorry, bud. There's no door on the side or anything. Is there a door over here? No. Nothing. Is that, that's my partner. Okay, so that's my partner. Uh... Is there a door up front over here? No. Parking garage. Uh, don't know. They never gave us like an apartment number or anything. Uh, let's see if there's anything on the map that I need to know. Not that I know of. Nobody's over there unless it's, or accidentally did the parking garage over here. No. Is there any houses over here? Like apartments? No, these are shops. Hmm. It was like the when you pulled up initially pulled up, it was like right here. So I pulled in the alley thinking it was gonna be this apartment complex, but I guess it's not. Unless I have to go around the front. Which I don't see why I would have to. Cause it just leads me to over here. And then there's no doors or nothing around the front as far as I can see, unless I have to go on this side. Yeah, there's no doors on this side, so these are all just... I don't know, let's try doing these again. Yeah, I don't know, it's not this complex, so I'm not quite sure. It did, like, leave it out in the middle of the roadway, so... I'm not quite sure. But I think we'll go ahead and just call this one an episode, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, kind of glitched out a little bit here at the end, but that's all right. I'm going to go ahead and hop the fence and maybe see if it's going to be this complex right here, possibly. But uh, yeah, that's going to go ahead and do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Smash the like button if you did. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And if you guys have any like requests for different departments, do let me know down in the comments as well. As well as make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. You guys are truly awesome. And, um, let's see if it's over here. If it's not over here, then I'm going to go ahead and just go and call it. Nope, they're not knocking, so over here. Nope. All right, well, yeah. Oh, maybe this one. Nope. All right, well, we'll make sure you guys follow me on all the social media and join that Discord server. I'll catch you guys here on the next video. Peace.